Welcome to Macau. I'm Dan Cheeseman and I'm reporting for Inspire and Thai Visa at this year's Global Tourism Economic Forum 2017. Now there's a reason why we're at Macau and it's down to the Chinese tourist. What about the Chinese tourists? Well, in 2016, 135 million of them took outbound flights and they're set for 7% year-on-year growth for the next 10 years. It's staggering. So I joined up with the forum and Pansy Ho to find out a little bit more. May we invite Ms. Pansy Ho, Vice Chairwoman and Secretary General of the Global Tourism Economy Forum. Welcome. How can China compete with established countries like Thailand? And Thailand continues to grow to attract tourists. First of all, I think we're into an age and you know period where, like our own topic at this. Uh, GTEF edition, we talk about regional collaboration. We talk about uh, we we trade um, expertise. We have now less and less of the border kind of division, and we have more global investors. Investors invest in you know across border, and also travelers. They look at itineraries not simply just in the context of a particular country, but rather you know it is being organized through their own interests in exploring different categories of you know, tourism offerings. So what we're trying to accomplish is, in fact, we all know that China actually borders with Thailand. And there are you know, parts uh, where by people can together, for instance, build a holistic experience of, let's say, trekking, you know, uh, going in the open, uh, environment and actually em embracing the nature. There could be also tourism, you know, organized around different themes. Uh, for instance, a lot of people love to go to places uh, like Phuket simply because there's all the beautiful seaside and also sea experiences. In the future, China is also key to developing that. Um, I'm sure now we already know of you know, China fast becoming also a major cruise um, liner country where there are lots of new ports being built and also the, the cruise activities are becoming very vibrant. And obviously these itineraries will naturally include the neighboring and, and you know, countries along the same coastline, including obviously Thailand. Mm. So I think the idea is not exactly just to compete but rather to build and to groom in the future collaborative uh, competitiveness. Thank you very much. That's, Thank you. that's my questions. Mm -hmm. So that's Macau, S-A-R, in every sense of the word, a success story for the Chinese. And it seems to me that the very future and fabric of tourism as we know it is being defined and governed by what's happened in China for the outbound tourists and also what they're doing themselves to drive tourism. So the question for you is, is China a place that you see yourself visiting? The Global Tourism Economic Forum certainly think so.